Today's show is brought to you by Harry's. Stay tuned for a special New Year's offer after the project build. Today, we're going to make a balloon zip cannon. Now, this is an inexpensive project, costs you about five bucks, and it's easy to make and a lot of fun. So let's get started. We'll be using some half-inch PVC pipe and some fittings, which you can get at your hardware store. The standard half-inch end cap will be used for the handle, along with an elbow and a half-inch T-fitting. You have a couple of different options to hold the balloon in place. You can use a small hose clamp if you have one, or an ordinary zip tie. The first step is to cut our three pieces of PVC. So we're going to measure out a 12-inch piece and make a mark, and then make another mark three inches down from that, and another mark two inches down from that. And now it's time to hold the PVC in place and get out your hacksaw or other means of cutting the PVC pipe and make your cuts so you'll end up with a 12-inch piece, a 3-inch piece, and a 2-inch piece. When cutting PVC, you always have burrs at the end, and it's an easy way to just take your finger and run it around the hole and clean out those burrs. And now it's time to make a modification to our 12-inch piece. So for this, you're going to need a round file. I had this one that was actually my dad's. It's an old one, but works great. We'll only be doing this to one end, and we're going to file inside at an angle. The point here is to reduce the thickness of the wall on one end, so you want to file at an angle, and when you're done, it should look like this, and this compares to the other side. You can see how much thinner the wall is on the one end of our barrel. Now it's time to put it together, so we'll attach the T to the other end, not the end you filed. Then on the bottom end of the T, we'll attach the three-inch piece of PVC, followed by the angle and then we'll attach the two inch PVC and then the end cap. Now we've got our handle. Now, as you can see here, I'm not gluing anything in place because it's really gonna stay together without having to do that. You can hit it with a rubber mallet just to make sure everything's nice and tight, but you don't necessarily have to glue it. Our ammo will be stored in an ordinary balloon. Now you wanna have at least a 10 inch diameter balloon for this. And we'll take the balloon and we'll slip it over the filed end of our balloon zip cannon. I decided to just use the zip tie to secure the balloon in place because the balloon may break down the road and then I'll just replace the zip tie when I replace the balloon. Okay, our balloon zip cannon is finished and now we need ammo. So I'm going to use some dry chickpeas or garbanzo beans. They're the perfect size and they're hard. So I'll take one and drop it down the barrel into the balloon. Pinch the end of the balloon, pull back and let it fly. Now it's hard to tell in this shot how far the chick bean went, but check this out. It really packs a punch. And that's how to make a balloon zip cannon. Go ahead and make your own. Well, as you know, 2014 is history. 2015 is here and it's gonna be a great year. Now what smart decisions are you gonna make in 2015? Well, one that should be on your list is not overpaying for razor blades from the drugstore. That's where Harry's comes in. Now, I've been telling you for some time now how great the shaving products are from Harry's. And if you haven't tried them yet, now is the time to make the smart switch to Harry's. Their high-quality German-engineered blades are crafted for sharpness and precision. They really are amazing. They're half price of the big-name drugstore brands, and of course, they're shipped completely free to your door. Now, their starter is just 15 bucks, and that includes the sleek razor, three blades, and either Harry's shave cream or their foaming gel, which is what I like. Plus, as an added bonus, you'll get $5 off your first purchase with my code KIPK5. That's an entire month of shaving for just 10 bucks. So start the new year off right and support my show by heading over to harrys.com. Happy New Year. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.